Lincoln was uh, pretty effective, just had the, the one hiccup in the second inning. Well, yeah, I mean, he leaves the game giving up two runs. Uh, they extended the one inning out, I think he had 30 pitches, but he pitched very, very well again tonight. Uh, very aggressive, both sides of the plate. Got in on some people, broke some bats. Um, no walks. Yeah, I didn't think he had a walk and, and six punch outs, so he pitched very, very effective. Just a good mix of, mix of pitches. Uh, ball down the zone. So, another good outing for Brad. Very good outing. He, encouraged, he, he was able to get ahead of batters uh, pretty well there. He encouraged by his ability to do that. It wasn't really something he, he showed when he was pitching in relief. Pardon me? It wasn't really something he showed when he was pitching in relief, his ability to get ahead and count. Yeah, and, and you know, the one thing that we don't take into granted is the kid's grown up a starting pitcher. All his life he's been a starting pitcher. And whether there's anything to it or not, then you go to the pitch in the bullpen, maybe he's thinking, I need to be a different kind of pitcher. You know, who knows? Who knows how they handle it or internalize it? So you give him the opportunity, he goes back to starting pitcher. I just, you see more confidence on the mound, if nothing else. Uh, very aggressive. You know, it's right after the bat. He's not pitching away from the bat. He's pitching in contact. He's going into the middle of the lineup, guys. He's pitching in on everybody, moving it away, spinning the slider. Um, so you just see an air of confidence. You know, that I've done this before. This is something I know. Uh, maybe that's there's something to that with it. What did you see from Myers tonight that uh, just made him so effective? Uh, he located the ball extremely well. Um, you know, he had such a big season for him last year. Um, his numbers, he's a better pitcher than his numbers, his won and loss record. But he just kept us off balance. He kept the ball backdoor cutter to get back in counts and lefties. Then he pitched them tight. Then he spun the ball down, threw some breaking balls for swings and misses. Stayed out of the middle of the plate. We just couldn't really put the barrel on him. How tough is it to play through these conditions in a couple of days? With, I know both teams are dealing with it, but with the rain, the constant rain and stuff like that. Well, it, it wears on you a little bit, but you got to play. So you go out and play. Uh, it seems to have been better for pitching than it has been for hitting the past two nights. Um, you know, I think you, you look back at the season and there's times when it was cold, there's times when it's hot. Well, it's just wet now. That's all. You just got to deal with it and play. Jones swung on a 2-0 count after uh, their, uh, their right had thrown six consecutive balls. Is, is that something that, that frustrates you as a manager when, when that was? Well, you know, it, it can, but, but it, you got to look at the bigger picture. Um, he has been challenged against some left-handers. He also had some big home runs against two left-handers this year late in games. So do you want to put him in a position where you automatically put the take on and maybe he passes or doesn't have a chance to hit the best pitch he has to hit the entire at bat in that situation? You've got to trust your hitter sometimes. I still have not gone back and looked where the pitch location was. If the ball's, you know, in or third, it's over the plate, i got no problem with him taking a whack at it. Um, that's where the trust comes involved, and hopefully your, your hitters can develop patience when they need to be and then aggressive in the strike zone when they need to be. I haven't looked yet. Um, I wanted him swinging a bat of ball he thought he could get the barrel on. So I'll, I'll know more later. Thank you, Clint.